Cisco Ice, Meraki MX with MR, Guest Hotspot. All right, so we've already created this hotspot dash guest. We're gonna go ahead and edit settings. Now, the goal here is to use Mac-based access control, okay? Use Identity Services Engine to provide the uh, central web auth capabilities, right? The IP address of your uh, ICE server would be here. Um, airspace ACL name and radius accounting enabled okay you also for walled garden you have to put in anything it, your device still needs to communicate with right um, and so in my case I got DNS and ice first thing we're gonna do is go to um, network devices and we got to make sure that we add the MR here, okay? Um, and so what's interesting is if you use dashboard and change of authorization, it's not going to work. You're going to have to, so the, the goal here would be ultimately use dashboard um, if you have lots of MR. So you don't have to add each NAD or network access device in, but it doesn't do COA. That's something that I discovered as I was testing. Um, so you're going to have to enter every one of your MRs if you want COA. Now we jumped into portal settings. They're very easy to duplicate. I'm just walking through. So we want COA re-authentication, um, acceptable use policy, right? You've got all kinds of settings here. We're going to, once authentication is done, we're going to go to www.cisco.com. And then there's some supporting information. So it's a pretty nice um capability built into ICE to be able to fully go in and customize these dashboards. Now we're gonna to jump to authorization uh, profiles. And we're gonna look at this Meraki hotspot. Uh, obviously I, I created this previously. Um, and what we wanna do here is, is that make sure that we have web redirection set to hotspot. The ACL is irrelevant. It's just a reference that uh, is required by um, ICE, but is not gonna be used in this case, not with Meraki. And then the uh, Meraki hotspot, that portal that we just created, right? Now, if we wanted to go ahead and add a ACL or group policy for Meraki, this is where we're gonna reference this. I'm gonna show this in a later video um, specifically. So we're not gonna do this here but that's where I discovered that COA will only work um, if you put in the NAD as the localized MR as opposed to using dashboard. Come into authentication uh, policies and, um, and what you can see here is I've got a couple of, of pre-built ones that uh, you know I've done for other use cases, but the one that we're focused on is the wired MAB or sorry, wireless map in this case. The authorization policy is wireless map and we're gonna look for called station. So we're looking for the SSID that ends with hotspot dash guest. And we're gonna apply that authorization profile to that. Once that is passed, so the user hits, you know, accepts, then what we want to do is fall under that that change of authorization to go through the next workflow, right? And that's guest endpoints, MAB, again, ends with hotspot dash guest. Um, and that's part of that guest flow. And we're going to permit access here. All right, let's go to radius live logs. And now it's time to test. Let's see the results here. So go to hotspot guest. And we're connected. And nice, the page opens, there's my AUP. Hit accept, connection successful, and it should redirect to cisco.com. Perfect. All right, so looks like it worked. Let's just check the um, the logs here. So we can see, yeah, we certainly hit the right authorization profile. Now looking at this here, let's look at the details here. We can see Windows 10 workstation, default, yep. 
hotspot authorized okay good see map we can see identity groups right because it automatically put us in guest endpoint right and allowed us to hit that guest flow um, authorization profile so that's the use case there you can just see it as i scroll by uh yep everything worked perfectly so that's it right pretty simple stuff where we have hotspot being delivered by identity services engine using meraki mr